What's up guys? Finally found some time and I'm gonna start working again on the engine swap lawnmower project. Today, we are working on pedals, gas pedal and clutch pedal. Now you might remember in the last video, I made a gas pedal like this, had it all hooked up and it was working just fine. Uh, the design worked well for a gas pedal, uh, but it was not strong enough. It didn't have enough uh, pull for the clutch. Uh, so I was gonna do a hand clutch. After that video, I decided I really just don't wanna do that. Uh, I want a foot clutch. And the only way for me to really do that is I picked up some go-kart pedals and spent some time last night on Fusion 360 drawing up the pedal and some perches that I'm gonna cut out on the plasma cut. All right guys, so last night I finished putting together these pedals. So of course, built the entire bracket here. I'm just calling it the pedal bracket brace. Um, and then of course, welded the extensions on to these pedals that I bought so that I have something to actually connect my throttle and clutch cables to. Um, I gotta say, I'm super happy with how these turned out. I think they look great and they're gonna look, they're gonna look good and they're gonna work way better than that last version I had that I made out of sheet metal, a 16 gauge. It just wasn't rigid enough. This quarter inch steel, gonna be very sturdy. Now that I have these, I also came over here and I did a little bit of work on uh, cutting out this notch here and drilling the holes so that that is exactly how this clutch pedal is going to sit down in there and it's going to have room to actuate with the cable underneath. So, um, also what I put together, a couple of these little brackets that I bent up as well. These are going to go, let's see, is this the clutch side? No. That's the clutch side. So this one is going to mount to the same holes, the same bolts that the uh, pedal bracket is mounted to the frame on. And then this is going to give me a spot for my, uh, for my cable to mount to. So um, that's looking really good. I think it's gonna be really a nice way of making this work. And I'm gonna get a foot clutch, which I really wanted and a, a really nice looking gas pedal. So I'm excited. I'm gonna start uh, installing the cables now. So I'm gonna drop some bolts down through, mount these pedals and hook up the cables and we're gonna see how it works. Alright, let's 
good and sturdy. I think that'll work. But that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna throw this carb on here, right in there. Now I've got, I should've just looked what the package said. It's like a wire, a looped wire and tie, something like that. Definitely a better way, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> How about that? It works. I also just realized that by doing it this way, I don't really have any way to pull the pedal assembly off of the bodywork here where it's mounted. That is a problem for future Kyle. All right, so I've got my piece. Get a little more trimming on here. Fit, should fit right like that. And I've got this nut here. All right, got, got the clutch side looped around and got the, uh, I don't know what they call it, the smash, little smash connector on there. I, ch I tested it out and of course there's so much there's so much tension on this clutch I'm, I'm starting to question if there's uh, something else going on um, I don't see any binding anywhere it's just it's a really heavy clutch uh, so I had to put some solder on it as well to make sure that it didn't slide uh, this piece but now it's working um, so, as I push on the, the clutch lever, the clutch moves. The only thing that I've been noticing though is there's so much force that you have to push on the pedal is it's bending, it's bending the body of the mower here that I have everything mounted to. So I'm thinking I'm gonna need to do some reinforcements and go back to the main frame here with that. I'll probably just make a plate that has the same bolt pattern as this and then weld the plate here and then that'll keep that nice and, nice and sturdy. I can straighten those out, but <clears throat> you get the gist. Hey. Pretty good. Close. Hmm. All right. So, needs a little bit of adjustment. And that's looking pretty good. All right, 
so the way this should work, if I'm lucky, all right, so those slots line up with the mounting holes on the bottom of the seat. The plan is to put this like that. These flanges line up, hopefully, with the subframe down there that I built. And the seat will fit right like that. All right, so now I've marked out some lines. I need to cut some of this bodywork off. Um, one of the sections I'm removing is going to allow that seat bracket to actually kind of wrap around this, uh, the bodywork, so that I can remove it all kind of uh, more easily and get to the battery box. Uh, I'm also gonna split it right down the middle here, all the way up here. And my, my reason for that is that it's going to allow me to take the sides off uh, independently of each other. That's gonna really help with uh, the way that I've got the pedals mounted here. Uh, and I think that that will make the whole thing a lot more easy to, uh, to actually work on and get everything put together. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna cut the, the top off here first, and then the last piece will split it up the middle here. I got this seat bracket mounted up, looking nice. It's bolted down. I just ran uh, some quarter 20 bolts through and I uh, recessed some quarter 20 nuts in there, uh, in the frame here, uh, welded them in, ground it flat. So I've got some nice threaded holes for these bolts to go in. So pretty happy with that. Now the next thing that I have been thinking about is um, how the actual, well how these body panels are going to be removed. Obviously, uh, from earlier in the video, my pedals are mounted to the mower body here. Um, I think the best thing I could do, actually, I cut a couple of plates here and these are basically uh, going to give me an area or a spot that I can bolt the pedals to uh, onto the frame. So I'm gonna weld these in the right spot on the frame, bolt the pedals down to these. That's gonna keep it nice and rigid because the sheet metal of this uh, mower body is a little bit flimsy to be pushing on it for the pedals, especially for the clutch. Uh, it flexes some, so I'm hoping that if I weld these plates in, bolt those to this, it's eighth inch uh, steel plate, um, that that's gonna be more rigid. I know you guys can't see much, but <coughs> not that much to see. Like a glove. Drops right in. 
Yeah, I like that a lot. <clears throat> that, that works really good. And that's a really solid spot to actually just mount this bodywork. So forget what I said about cutting these pieces out. Um, whatever, let's just roll with it. Um, I think this works better. And that's a nice, it's a nice solid mount for the body. So I don't have to worry about putting some kind of other body mount somewhere else. Only thing that we're missing right now is the brake. So remember I mentioned this in the last video. So I made this before. This is going to go right in here. Give or take. Yeah, right about like that. So it's gonna go like that. So you've got a hydraulic handbrake that's gonna be piped just to the rear wheels. So you can really uh, get this thing sliding around. Um, so let's go ahead, let's, let's mount this in. Let's, let's uh, tack weld these, these mounts that I put in here in place. We will, just like that. We're getting somewhere, it's just progress. All right, so I threw the bodywork on here and the seat and kind of everything the way it's supposed to look. Um, and that is because I'm pretty much done, I think. It's, it's time to actually pull everything back apart, pull the engine out of it. I have to work on the engine a little bit, um, missing some parts. Uh, so I'm gonna pull the engine out, I'm gonna pull everything off of it. I'm gonna do all my finish welds all along all the frame and, and get it uh, so it's strong. And then we'll, we'll put a coat of paint on this uh, to really make it pop and keep it from rusting. Uh, there are some still, you know, a few things that I've gotta do. Like I haven't had a chain on it yet. I don't think that's a big deal. Um, what else? Um, the engine doesn't run. I haven't actually bolted the seat down, but close enough. Uh, we do have a rear brake lever now, e-brake style. The shifter works. It's just, uh, you know, it's a little short. Uh, so that'll be, you know, that's for future Kyle to deal with, uh, bringing that shifter up. Uh, but for now, I think we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna have to probably do a hood scoop here because I can't, I can't get this actually on all the way. Um, again, minor issues. So with that, this is the current status of the motorcycle engine swapped lawnmower project. It's getting somewhere, not exactly sure where, but it is getting somewhere. Um, we are going to pick this up in the next video with it all torn down, get it wire wheeled and painted, and then we'll start putting it back together. And eventually we're gonna actually drive this thing. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, so with that, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel to see more and share this video with friends if you wanna show them uh, this project. With that, I will see you in the next video.